New Orleans has its own flavor. And I think part of that flavor is the soul that really goes into it. Chef John Besh knows something about the soul of New Orleans. The food of New Orleans is the only indigenous urban cuisine left. You come to our city, you open up any menu, you know exactly where you're at. How long for the fried oyster? I was sitting there trying to count the number of restaurants like in my head. What number is this one? So we have 10 here in New Orleans. 10? Mm-hmm. The Besh Restaurant Group employs over a thousand people. Besh himself is a fixture on television and has written four cookbooks, including his latest, Besh Big Easy. Everything that we do here like should take us back to our childhood. So we have like with every cookie plate comes, you know, comes the cookie Sick. batter. Sick. We met up with him at his newest venture, the just opened bakery and cafe, Willa Jean. This is really special because I had always hoped that I'd have one restaurant. I wanted to be a chef. I wanted to be a New Orleans chef. The 47-year-old Besh could almost see New Orleans from Slidell, Louisiana, where he grew up as one of six kids of a stay-at-home mom and airline pilot father. My father was paralyzed at a really young age, and I was nine years old, and uh, he was hit by a drunk driver, paralyzed for life. At that point, I started cooking breakfast for my siblings, and I wasn't the smart ones. When we got smart ones, and I was just like the dumb one that liked making breakfast and serving the kids, and so that kind of became my job. I love to cook. And he kept cooking, developing his own unique take on time-honored recipes. Beautiful gold shrimp. Love it. I would always do like riffs on like my mom's shrimp creole, you know, and I would add a little something or I'd add that, and I would make it my own. Need a little hot sauce. And then when I had a chance to finally stand out on my own, I wanted to honor some of those great dishes that I've had in the past, and so just trying to bring a little refinement to them, and that's pretty much all I do still today. Mmm. Oh, it smells so good. Before his culinary career took off, Besh joined the Marines, where he served in Iraq during Operation Desert Storm. That was a time that I got to mature a lot, and at a young age, learning how to deal with people that don't look like you, don't talk like you, that really helped me a lot in like, growing as a chef. He returned home to start a family and work his way up the New Orleans food scene, eventually becoming the executive chef and owner of August Restaurant. Life was good, but something was missing. I did fall into the trap of being that selfish chef, just focused on you know building this great place. It was Katrina that really brought me back to my roots of, no, we have to live now and really serve other people, and that's what it really comes down to. This is an unprecedented moment for New Orleans. A catastrophe is on its way, and a half million people here are moving out. When the storm hit, he shut his restaurant down and left with his family, only to return to a devastated city. And then I get here, and I see the fires, and I see the smoke, and I see the water, and you see people in such despair. And I just remember at this one point thinking, God has put me here for a reason. I have resources, I have a talent. What am I going to do to help? What he could do was cook. We just started cooking. We'd cook red beans and rice around the clock, and either myself or some of my Marine friends would ride around just scooping and serving these red beans to people. And when he wasn't cooking, he was reaching out. So this neighborhood was just totally flooded, destroyed. We're talking about six to eight, I think 12 feet of water just down the street. The Tremaine neighborhood was in bad shape, including the fabled fried chicken place, Willie Mae Scotch House. It was in danger of closing forever. So Chef Besh set out to help save it. Whoever was gonna come and help out rebuilding Willie Mae Scotch House, we were gonna feed them for free. And so all these volunteers, we would feed. They were determined and failure was not an option. Carrie Stewart runs the family-owned Willie Mae's, which was founded by her great-grandmother. I cried many a days in a story. You know, if I just had a moment, I'd just go back there. And I'd be like, whew. <laughs> you know? Easy. After the storm, these places became cornerstones that people in an act of defiance would come and eat out in, in order to show their resilience for defeating all this adversity. 
In the 10 years since Katrina, Besh has not only grown his own empire, but he's continued his work in the community. If we're going to sustain the culture, then we have to make sure that we invest in his people. So here I am, I've, I've become pretty famous just from cooking New Orleans food, right? But we all have to share in that. We all have to have opportunities to participate in that. So he started the John Besh Foundation, which gives loans and scholarships to local people. The only requirement being that they give back to New Orleans in turn. So I think if nothing else, what's really come out of this whole of the tragedy of the storm in is we started with a blank slate and we haven't gotten everything right and it won't be done tomorrow and I, I think that if I can use food to shape a better tomorrow for New Orleans then that's what I'm supposed to do.